button off and ready to rock. All right, we're getting really close on our setup, but this next step is absolutely critical. And that's setting up your sight properly because it's not just about mounting your sight to your bow and then sighting it in. Because as I've taught you in some previous dead center segments, your level is critical to your accuracy. And this is something that I learned from years with shooting with the US archery team on the toughest field courses in the world. And having your sight set up properly before you ever mount it to your bow is really the difference between winning a gold medal and not, or the difference between coming home with a big buck or not. So we're gonna talk about how to set up this level perfectly so that it gives you a true reading each and every shot. You're gonna to need to make sure you follow the instructions on doing this depending on the sight that you're using. I'm shooting Sherlock sights. I shoot them for target and for hunting because it's a sight that I've trusted for decades as a professional archer. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna set our second axis, which is setting your level this way, your second axis. And to do this, the best thing that I can tell you to invest in is a leveling device. If you're serious about yourself as a bow hunter and as a target archer, buying a leveler device is critical for properly setting up your sight. This is a bright sight leveler. You can get it at LancasterArchery.com. And what this does is it allows you to mount your sight onto this device, and then you can actually turn this knob, which levels this device perfectly, and then it allows you to have hands-free operation to match your sight to this level here on the back, which is gonna be our first step. So I've got my sight mounted. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna level this device so that I know it's perfectly square with the surface that I'm working on. Then I'm gonna make the simple adjustments to adjust my level, my second axis, to where my front level is exactly the same as the level on this device. On this Lethal Weapon Red, you have two simple lockdown screws that are easy to loosen and then have micro adjustments for your second and your third axis. So first we're gonna do this second axis. I've went ahead and made the adjustments to where this bubble and this bubble are perfectly where they need to be. Then what you do is you're gonna point this sight up in the air just like this and you're gonna see what that bubble does. If that bubble doesn't stay exactly in the center of that level, then that's telling you your third axis is off. And your third axis is you want your level perfectly square with the center shot or your arrow path. If that bubble is tilted one way or another like this, what will happen is when you point it up, you'll see that, that bubble go off to one side of the level. And then when you pointed it down, it'll actually go to the opposite side. So what happens is if you're paying attention to that bubble and you're shooting uphill, you'll end up leaning your bow with a false reading and ultimately your arrows are gonna go the direction that you lean that top limb. The same is true and it'll be the opposite for when you try to shoot downhill. And on field courses across the world, I've seen some of the best competitors there are sit there and shoot group after group to the right, uphill, or to the left. And then when they start shooting downhill, their groups are exactly opposite. And it's all because they didn't set up their bubble properly to begin with. So read your instructions, set up that bubble properly, make sure you have a device to check your third axis, and if you want a little bit more detail about some of these specific subjects like this, go to the knockontv.com website, click on the articles tab, and you can download PDFs of hundreds of articles that I've written for free just to help further your education in this great sport. Knock and ready to rock.